Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Tonight I am doing a review and a breakdown in Canadian dollars of my very first Fun Fit Fab box. This is my first time subscribing to them. I was subscribed to Ipsy for almost two and a half years and I just recently switched over. First time kind of filming and unboxing like this. For the most part, I've always done these type of things on my blog. I do have this listed on my blog as well, everything in writing, um, but I thought I would just come on and do a video as well because I am very impressed with this box and everything that's in it. First box, I believe, is an editor's box, so that's what I received. So it's valued at $200, and I believe it's $49.99 US. I think in Canada, I had a $10 off coupon that I used and it came to $64.99. For us Canadians, the total retail value of this box with the current exchange rate was $336.82. That is a huge, huge deal, I think, in my eyes. You're getting full size and, like, I paid so much less for this. <laughs> Sorry if you see that I keep looking down. I have this, like, all researched and written down for my blog and I just... I'm just reading off that just to make it easier because there's a lot of information on these products <laughs> and I can't just memorize all of it. This thing that I'm going to pull out is this Mod Cloth scarf. I believe there was two colors that came in the box. You could have got black and white or this one that is like multicolored. Um, so I can tell you right away the material and the fabric on this is not cheap. It is quality material. And the colors on it are like beige, mustard, yellow, blue, navy, red, and green. Not something that I normally would pick out for myself, but I've been wearing it with gray and black jackets. And let me just tell you, it is the warmest thing ever. So cozy. So um, I checked out their website just to kind of get a feel for the company, see what they were all about. And... Their website is absolutely adorable. Everything's like vintage inspired and I just, I really enjoyed their website and how it was laid out. You could kind of select your price range as well. So you can go from the highest price to the lowest price when you're browsing through their shop. And the retail value of this scarf is $45.89 Canadian. Next up we have the Good Morning Gorgeous Tumblr mug from Co the Co-Created. Um, just by looking at it right off the bat, I thought this was super chic, like something that you can have on the desk. I would not recommend this for traveling because it does not have a stopper for the hole, like the sipping hole at the top. So if you're traveling, it could potentially spill places unless you provide your own stopper. It's only single layered on the inside. So it's, they do sell thermals on the website if you're interested in a thermal, but I think this is more just a to and from type thing, have it on your desk for chicness and to hold your coffee or hot chocolate, whatever you prefer. Now this is $24.92 Canadian for the retail of it, but the bonus of shopping on the co-created as opposed to shopping at like Indigo or Chapters or something like that, is that they actually donate for a non-profit organization called Water and it's helping to supply water in developing countries. They help build wells, and I believe they give 10% of their net profit um, when you buy from them. And it doesn't have to be the mug, like they also sell like gift sets and everything. And the prices range from about $12.50 to, I think it was like $30 or $40 on the website. So I do like the idea that they are giving back. In the editor's box, they also gave us an adult coloring book for the therapeutic massage. <laughs> Say therapeutic massage. <laughs> well, if your book is massaging you, honey, I don't know if you're doing it right. Um, <laughs> sorry, it's to illustrate and meditate. And I really like this book because you know how you buy one book and it's like nature and birds and that's all that there is is like page after page of birds and nature. This one actually is quite cool because you have a variety of different things to color. Like it will be like shoes and then a bird. There's always birds in these things. God, my best friend would hate that. Um, and then like pineapples, light bulb, like there's just different varieties, different shapes, sizes. So... It's a little bit good. I do want to find, there was one in here that I was like, yes, this is totally me. 
Uh, I can't wait to color it. I have some traveling coming up this year. And I need this on like the downtime when I'm like traveling and I'm bored and I just need something to pass the time. So this will be coming along. Where is my chic page? Okay, this one. Yes, the Bon Voyage. And it's like has the Eiffel Tower and like a whole bunch of like traveling pictures. Hollywood, Las Vegas. Let me tell you, Las Vegas was a blast. Um, so I can't wait to color that one. I feel like this is going to be the first one that I color. <laughs> now, if they're going to throw in the coloring book, you best be sure that they threw in the coloring pencils. And they've partnered with Pencils of Promise, which is an organization that has the goal of increasing um, quality education in developing countries. I like the idea of that organization because I think no matter where you are in the world, children should have the right and the accessibility to education, you know, and... It's great that they are putting money towards that and helping to get the educators and the supplies that are needed to build these schools. And the Canadian retail value of the coloring book, I'm not so sure if the pencils are included in that, probably not, um, but it is $18.36 Canadian for the book. So I have never heard of this Mana Kadar Beauty. I don't think, it's not something that they sell in Canada, but this, let me tell you, is like... I love it. It's my new lip obsession. I'm wearing it right now on my lips as well. So it is the Lip Lock Priming Gloss Stain. So it is a stain, but it also works as a primer. So you don't really have to... I've been using this to line my lips. Like you don't need a lip liner that acts as a primer to keep your lips from feathering. This has it like all built in, all in one. And it's like this really pretty nude petal color. It's like a your lips but better color. Um, so we are... We are giving this a thumbs up. Um, it's very moisturizing as well. It does contain vitamins A and E and berry extracts. So this is a plus for me because right now it's super dry in Canada and a lot of people suffer from trapped lips. So this will actually keep you moisturized all day. This is the shade Lucky and there's a bunch of different shades on the website but I actually like that they chose a nude. It's more versatile for everyone to be able to wear and enjoy. So, the only downfall I will say that when I went to go on the website, because I was like, oh, maybe I'm going to get myself some extra colors, it is a $35 flat rate international shipping. So, this is $24 US, uh, retailing for $31.48 Canadian. So unless you're going to be doing a large haul and buying quite a couple items, you know, just to make it worth it for paying $35 for shipping, because that is a bitch. Uh, <laughs> you know, I always think of those like internet things that it's like, oh, I will spend $300 on makeup, but that $10 shipping, that's a bitch. And it is a bitch. So $35 to ship it. So if you're going to buy, I would recommend for if you're in a different country other than the States, to kind of get a haul going and buy a couple products all at once. That way you're not paying individual $35 per shipping on each item that you end up wanting to buy. But I do really think it is worth it. It's what do we get next in our box of tricks? Hair oil. <laughs> okay. Next up is the hair oil. Oh, I'm probably going to pronounce this wrong because I have terrible pronunciation. But it's Marrakesh Argan and Hemp Oil and oh, this stuff is so amazing. So my hair type is thick, it is frizzy, it's wavy, naturally wavy and two pumps of this and on wet hair and I blow dried it and it oh. it like had the most sheen, silky feel to it. It sped up the drying time as well, which was a bonus. I wasn't sitting there for like 20 minutes trying to blow dry my hair. Now I put this on the night before because I shower at night. And then in the morning I woke up, hair was soft, sleek, straightened really well as well. This will help your straightener kind of just glide right through the hair. Um, it did not make my hair greasy and it didn't feel like it was weighed down with product, which I find some argan oils that I have bought in the past have really like, you know, brought the grease into the hair and I don't know if it's maybe I put a little bit too much or what the deal was but this mm -mm, honey you are not gonna find greasy hair with this bad boy 
So with this Marrakesh company, they actually have started up a foundation called the Get Together Foundation. And so far, they've listed that they have donated to over 10 causes. So they are working as well with charities, which makes it a bonus to buy from them because you will be contributing towards the cause. <laughs> and the retail value of this is $29.95 Canadian. Great, so the next product that I'm going to talk about, I probably will say is my favorite product in the entire box. <laughs> and that's saying a lot. There was nine products in this month's box. Um, but it's the ORG or ORG. ORG. I'm going to call it ORG. Probably wrong. But it's the ORG skincare. If you want to have spa like skin, like you just walked out of like the most amazing facial of your life, you need to get your hands on this guy. You can like do it at home, I swear to God. My skin was so amazing. So I'm one that I moisturize on a daily basis and I exfoliate on a weekly basis. I didn't think I had as much dead skin as I did. When I sprayed this, you're supposed to spray it on the face. Obviously, I kind of spray it to avoid my eyes because God knows what it would do to my eyeball if it went in there. Um, but I sprayed it like on my skin. You wait about three seconds and then the enzymes in it like start breaking down your dead skin debris and you rub it in circular motions and I swear it was like peeling off a micro peel. So... I've never gone for any type of like facial peel except for when I was in school and we were learning them. Okay, maybe that's a lie. I have had a peel on my face, but I don't remember it working this fast or this good. Um, so I think this is like brilliance in skincare and I'm rating this like 11 out of 10. It didn't make me break out and I am acne prone so that was a huge bonus as I didn't wake up the next day and have a whole bunch of bumps or irritation um, and it just took away like all this dead skin that you would never even think it was there because you know you're moisturizing, you're exfoliating but no, this thing's going to show you just how much you're actually missing and the brightness of my skin, the dewiness, the glow, how soft and supple it was after like you can't get any closer than unless you're going to the spa and paying for like a $150 facial um, so with it on the inside it has a milk thistle and licorice root now I know I have seen milk thistle in our department store and like Joanne's health food store and I know you can like ingest it. It's apparently it's supposed to be really good for you. I don't know if it's the milk thistle that has the enzymes in it. Not 100% sure on that. But it just really appeared... It just really helped take away the dullness of my skin and bring back the light and luminosity of it. Um, for moisturizing, it does contain aloe vera, jojoba oil, and mugwort. And it's free of alcohol, which is good because it's not going to dry your skin out. Um, free of parabens, sulfates, and petroleum. Yeah, it's a Korean skincare line, and I'm just super impressed with it. And when I went to the website, they only sell like, <laughs> like three products or something. Like they don't have a huge like 45 piece skincare line like they've only maybe just started I'm not 100% sure I've never heard of them um, but oh you need to get your hands on this if you're suffering from like dry dull skin and you want brighter skin like we all do and it's very like you can tell the packaging and everything's super professional on it as well it's something that you think you would find at a spa or a salon sitting out on the retail shelves and the retail value of this is 57.33 Canadian um, with the size of the bottle, it is 59 milliliters. I've used it maybe three times and I've only like just skimmed the top so I feel like this probably will last a little while. You, a little goes a long way when you spray it. It kind of, you know, sprays all over the one area. Now the most expensive retailed item in the box was this necklace here. I'm going to kind of hold it up. Now this is from Juk and Nona. And it's a tag necklace that says love, and the other styles would say inspire, happy, or dream. But I'm very happy I got love. I think that kind of suits very well. And lately I've been loving dainty jewelry that's very simple and, you know, it's just enough. It's just enough to sit there. But today I've kind of layered it up. <laughs> and so on the front of the plate it says love, and on the back it says Jerk and Nona. And... 
Now this is retailed at $84.69 Canadian, but that is because it is plated with 18 karat gold. So on the website they do sell a variety of necklaces, pendants, rings, I think they even have a men's collection. Um, so it's worth checking out. If, this was actually the first thing that I pulled out of the box when I first got it. And I think it's just because it was like corally orange and it caught my eye. But it's the Anderson Lily Made in America number 12 Coastal Collection. The smell of this would like take you right to Italy. Like it is so amazing. It's like my sense to like the citrus type smells or like what I'm drawn to. I'm not much of a fan of like woodsy and like musk. But, so the note blends on this lotion are peach, mandarin, tangerine, bergamot, lily, jasmine, mango, blackcurrant, musk, and vanilla. I don't smell the musk. I smell more like if you've ever been to like the body shop and it's the satsuma. It's like that orangey tangerine smell but just a little bit better. It's formulated with safflower seed oil. Shea butter, aloe juice, sesame oil, vitamin E, and A to help hydrate the skin and keep it supple. And I will tell you, this stuff really does hydrate the skin. I do have sensitive skin and some hand creams kind of make me rash out. But this did not do that. It blends super easily and quick. It's not greasy feeling. It just smooths right into the skin. And they don't test on animals, and it's formulated without petroleum, without parabens, and without artificial colors or mineral oil. So I also found that on their website, the brand sells a wide range of candles as well. Um, and they range from like citrus smells to woodsy smells for the candles. And the collections, they do have different collections that they do carry. And just by looking at this, you can tell that like, that would spruce up any vanity. Even the candles are really cutely labeled. So any vanity or bathroom setup that you want to kind of just change the product line a little bit, this would probably definitely be cute. And Anderson Lily does donate 10% of the net profit to charities. They have five charities that they annually donate to. And on the website, I believe they do list the charities that they're involved with. And the retail value of this, and it's 5 ounces, is $31.20 Canadian. And lastly, in this editor's box was a Zoya nail polish. Now, I don't know. I feel like Zoya is really popular in the States. Well, in Canada, OPI, China Glaze, and Essie nail polishes are really, like, more popular. Like, OPI would be, like, our top brand. Zoya, they don't sell at our department stores, and a lot of the salons that I've been into, they sell OPI, they don't sell Zoya. So I feel like Zoya is not that well known for Canadians, but we've heard about it clearly through social media and everything. We know about Zoya, we've heard that it's really amazing, and I'm not gonna lie, I've had my nails painted for four days with this color. Has not chipped, went on beautifully, did not streak when I put it on. So we received the color Rue. And it's just kind of like this nude, well, what did they describe it? A cool toned nude pink. But on me, it kind of, it's purple. Like it's like a mauve color, which I absolutely adore. I'm like I'm on day four and it hasn't chipped. And that's pretty amazing considering that it's not a gel polish. And I don't have a Zoya base or top coat, so I just set it with OPI. Because in my mind, I don't know, I'm comparing Zoya, Zoa, Zoya. To OPI I feel like those might have bonded and apparently it does bond really well so I am quite happy with this and I'm excited to try these type of brands that we normally don't see around and they're not as accessible to us and then I checked out the website if you are looking for a color collection oh my god I was like overwhelmed with all the colors and the names and I was like I am never gonna get through all these nail polish colors so I just kind of scrolled through to see what they had but Zoya I like what you do I like what you do and this is retailed at $13 Canadian which is pretty much pairing it to Canadian price of OPI which is about $13 to $14 a bottle unless you're going to a specialty shop like Cosmoprof or Sally's and you're getting like a pro discount or the spa show in Toronto actually gives you a really good discount like $5 for OPI nail polish Think about that when you're next time you're going to your salon and they're trying to charge you like $15 for a bottle. Just think about that. They're getting it for five bucks. I guarantee you five, six bucks. 
that was everything that was in the box for like paper and then they also give you like a magazine with like people's pictures and everything like it's a really big community it really is like I don't know it's a lot of people are subscribed and a lot of work goes into finding these products I'm sure and the testing the products before they release them in the box to make sure that they are quality and I am super impressed I'm so happy to be part of this new family um, so I am going to be doing my goal, my plan is to be doing a blog post and a video for every box that I get. Can't wait to see what they're going to be offering in this spring box and I will keep you updated on blog posts and videos when that one comes in the mail. And in the meantime I'm going to be loving, adoring, and using all these products and yes, there's not much more I can say. I'm just very happy and impressed with the first box that I received and I do have a link um, for $10 off your first FabFitFun box. So if you're looking into subscribing to it and you kind of don't really know, hopefully this was helpful for you. And I will see you all in my next video. Thanks again for watching.